So you guys, today we have a pretty interesting video because I get contacted by companies. Now, I'm not going to say it like it happens all the time because it doesn't happen all the time. But when I do, it makes me very happy. If any of you are a company that would like me to either review your product or check something out, I will from now on be putting my business email address down in the description below. If anybody is interested to contact me, check out the email down in the description below. Of course, that email is also in the about tab. But just in case you guys didn't know about it, please contact me. I'm all in for checking new things out. And if you guys want me to review something, super excited about that. Really enjoy checking things out. So I got contacted by Minitool. And if you guys don't know what Minitool is, they're a company that I really know well. They make Partition Wizard. And that is like the one thing from them that I would use quite a lot in the past. But yeah, they're a company that I know and I did not expect to get contacted by them. But Peter from Minitool contacted me saying that they have a brand new movie maker released. And a lot of you guys in the comment section keep telling me that you guys have a YouTube channel that you're trying to grow. What video editing software do I use? How do I edit, etc. Now I myself use Premiere Pro, but I know that that can be costly for people and I do not condone piracy. So I wouldn't crack it. If I were you, I'd actually go pay for it. If you are a student, it's not that much. They have a nice student deal that I am currently using. That is what I use, but I know it can be costly for people. So Peter here actually made a pretty cool proposal to me. He said that they have a brand new movie maker software, kind of video editing software, and it is currently free on their site. It says the program is completely free at the moment and that he believes that me and my audience will like it. And I think that is going to be true because as I said, a lot of you guys have been telling me that you're trying to start up your own channel and that you want to know how I edit. And this software is currently free. And the fact that he wrote currently free makes me think that it might be paid in the future but make sure to uh, check it out. And that's what we will be checking out today. I already have the software downloaded. I've taken a little look at it. So we're gonna hop right in and we're gonna try editing something with it. We are going to hop right in as you see it there on my desktop, mini tool movie maker. And as you see, I also changed my desktop wallpaper. The other one seems to be pretty controversial. I, uh, I don't understand why people had a problem with me drawing anthropomorphic animals. Humans are just boring to draw. Hey, I changed my wallpaper. If anybody wants to draw me a wallpaper, please do. I would be very glad to set it as my wallpaper because I don't know, real life wallpapers just aren't for me. It's hard to see the icons, etc. But if you guys are going to be screaming in the comment section at me for drawing anthropomorphic animals, I'll change my wallpaper. <laughs> Again, if anybody wants to draw me a wallpaper, post it in the fan art section on the discord. I will be more than happy to set it. Of course, if it's something that is appropriate, but uh, you guys have been drawing incredible, amazing things for me in the fan art section. And I want to thank you guys all so much for that. Let's hop right in to the movie maker. So basically what we're taking a look at here is, do you actually need an expensive video editing software to make nice videos? You know, there's um, Premiere Pro, there's Vegas Pro, and all these things that have Pro at the end. It's almost like you need to have Pro at the end of a movie maker now to make it relevant. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's try actually editing something. I have three videos here. I'm going to delete them because I was playing around with this as I told you guys. Let's for example, grab the, let's grab a vlog. Yeah, let's grab a vlog actually. Why don't we grab a vlog? Here we have a vlog. This is for the Mystical More channel. So I am going to grab all of these clips. And if you guys haven't checked out the Mystical More channel, make sure to do that down in the description below. Uh, we post vlogs there. We sometimes do gaming there. It's pretty much everything that we don't post on this channel. Behind the scenes, things like that. So, so far, as I have seen, a lot of you know this, I record in 4K, I record on a Lumix G7, 4K, 30. This software, I have seen no issues in rendering in 4K. Of course, that also needs to be uh, computer-wide. Your computer needs to support that. If you don't have a computer that can't pull 4K, then that seems like a problem. But currently, right now, I have seen no issues with this software rendering in 4K. So pretty good there. When I did try to export, however, I wasn't able to export in 4K. So that's something there that uh, I think needs to be added in the future. Also, while this is loading, I want to apologize for not being able to upload in the last two days. I did try to keep up that daily upload schedule, but I went to my family out in the countryside and their Wi-Fi is like one megabit per second, two megabits per second. So uploading 4K footage on that Wi-Fi is just not very possible. 
Uh, very soon, we're going to be back to the normal set. Everything will be back to normal. I'm going to be back at home. So that's a thing. I'm going to be there for another week after Sunday. So I'm not sure how uploading is going to happen. I'm going to try it. Don't you get me wrong. I am going to try it. But two megabits per second, upload 4K footage that's like six gigabytes. And I don't know. <laughs> Okay, get ready for the laptop to get really loud. So as you can see here, we have all the files imported and this this thing's really cool. By just placing your mouse on it like this, it'll start to preview. Yeah, just arrived in Warsaw and look at that. Is this place amazing? That's pretty cool. I like that feature. I want that feature to be kept. Just putting your mouse on the video previews it just like that. All you do is you put your mouse on we it, just starts previewing with so audio. Holy. And then of course, you know, like every other editing software, you have the timeline, you have the text, the audio, everything has its own separate uh, timeline place here. So we're just gonna grab a file, throw it in, and start editing. Okay, so let's say I want to cut this video right here. Cut it right when I show the National Stadium. The button is right there to split it. I just press on that, it's been split. Then I can move my playhead over to somewhere else. What's up? Vitae, jak się spało? Logika. To? To jest vlog, nie? Alchemy, which I saved for last, because it is amazing. You can see the national stadium from here. If I stick my hand down, right over there is the national stadium. No. Okay, and then let's say I want to cut it again here, and then delete the part in the middle. So I can press the cut thing again, press on the clip and just press delete on my keyboard. Boom, clip is gone. I can move my playhead back and just click play. And it should just skip right over to where I put it. There we go. And as you can see, just like that, 4K footage, perfectly cut. Now, another thing that I have found, you can use the arrow keys to move the entire timeline just like this. Now, what I find interesting is, can't exactly 100% understand why the playhead moves with the timeline, but you can move frame by frame if that's something you require with the keys. So that's pretty cool. Now they have quite a bit of uh, music built in. I'm not sure if this music is copyrighted or not. So I'm just gonna play a few seconds. Shit, is this place amazing? Let me give you a tour. It's our kitchen. It's I don't know if it's copyrighted. It's pretty cool though. Like it would work for vlogs. I would use it. And of course you can import your own if that's what you want to do. Then of course you have your transitions. So let's say I would like to transition. There's a bunch of transitions. I just place it here and now it should transition to the next clip. Stadium. Just like that. My laptop is struggling, but as you can see there, just like that, we have a transition now. Then of course you have your effects bunch of different effects, as you can see here, that you can apply onto your footage, just like that. Then of course you have your text, different type of animated text that you could throw on. So let's add this and let's make it say we love 2020. As you can see, pretty simple to edit text right here, just like that. Move the playhead back, press space. That's our kitchen, huge, absolutely. Amazing. Just like that, already animated, pretty cool, pre-animated software. Uh, let's go into motion. As you can see, there's some pretty cool motion you can add onto your clips. If we split it and split it again, let's say we add something to this clip real fast. I can tell that there's motion on it because you can see the little circles here. If we play it now, it's slowly going to pan into whatever we chose. So it's going to pan into the top right. It's pretty cool. You have a bunch of presets basically made out here for you. You don't need to worry about having to make them all yourself, animate the clips like you would in say Premiere Pro. So it's pretty cool. I think it's a very nice software for beginners. And if I were to export it, I just press export right there, select your file format, just like that. And then here you have your settings. The highest you can go is 1080p, as I said, best quality. There is no 4K, unfortunately, which is why I myself can't be editing in it because I need 4K for my footage. I need to be able to have that precision, zoom, quality. You guys know I don't record in anything lower than 4K, but I think that this is an absolutely great software. 
I think they have a nice beginning. As I said, this is a new software. He did say it's free for now. So I'd say you guys go check it out while you can, because it might be paid later. Again, not entirely sure. Maybe I completely understood the email incorrectly, but go check it out. I think you guys, beginners out there will really like this. You probably aren't recording in 4K. You're probably doing 1080. This thing has a bunch of templates ready for you. Really simple to use. You have your splicer. You can add music. You can add text. It's really all you need because keep your videos minimalistic. Don't don't like start adding memes and everything all over your footage. Or at least that's the way I edit. I keep my videos very, very simple. And you guys seem to like that. So that is going to be it for today's video. We have checked out a really cool piece of software that I think will help you guys out starting out there on YouTube. And I think you guys are really going to like this. Um, again, I personally think that they should add the option to export in 4k. I think they should optimize it a little bit better. It's not the best optimized right now. It could begin working with Nvidia AMD GPUs at home. I am on AMD here. I'm on Nvidia, but I think currently it's only using the CPU uh, or at least that's what it looks like. Again, if you guys aren't re editing 4K, you should be completely fine. So that is my opinion on it. I think it's really cool. I think it's great for beginners. It has a bunch of templates, a bunch of cool things you can use. This isn't sponsored in any way. They just asked me to check it out, to show it to you guys. They said they think you would really like it. I think you're gonna like it. So make sure to check it out down in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do for the next week with the two megabit per second internet and uh, yeah. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys wanna join the community, we have a constantly growing community of amazing people. We have mods now, we have people working on stuff on the Discord. Please welcome Axerl. He's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I am very bad at pronouncing. I was supposed to make him mod quite a while ago. He's finally mod now on the Discord, so I hope he's happy with that. I think he's gonna be a great mod. Uh, I trust him and uh, yeah, welcome him as the new moderator. And yeah, if you guys want to join that community, make sure to join the Discord down in the description below. Make sure to join the Reddit down in the description below. I want to see you guys posting spicy memes. If you guys want to be notified of future content coming up very soon, I'm not going to say daily because again, I can't promise that. Make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.